uh, hi everyone welcome to this session so today uh, we will be solving this uh, interesting question okay and we will be solving this intuitively okay so now to find poles and zero what we do we know the transfer function uh, in s domain uh, v out over v in of s will be nothing but some dc gain dc gain into some like there will be some poles and there will be some like there will be some zeros and there will be some poles right so this is a transfer function and we know to to find a pole the v in will be zero right and uh, and we need to find uh, equivalent resistance and equivalent capacitance okay now here here we have three point uh, this point one and this point two and this is three uh, like third third point right but but in small signal we know and to find the zero this will be short circuit right v in and this if you short circuit it, this will be grounded right so basically the dependent source dependent source uh, of this mosfet is out of the picture right uh, this will be zero right this current so this will be open circuit and let's say the channel length modulation is neglected so the lambda will be zero so there is no output resistance here okay so we can see that there is only one effective node this is this node right and we know the no so for gain small signal gain and find r out and r in this will be also short circuited right like inactive so this will be ac ground so we can see that there is only one capacitor and two resistance now the question is these two resistance are in series or in parallel this is the question okay basically this like the two the equivalent resistance for this figure will be r plus r okay so the equivalent resistance will be here r plus r okay basically these two are in series and what will be the equivalent capacitance so there is present only c right so the equivalent capacitance will be c only so so now we have pole value right pole the pole location will be at on over r equivalent into c equivalent so this will be nothing but 1 over r 2r into c okay so this is our pole so here we have only one capacitor so there will be only one pole okay so this is the pole location now to find the zero what we do for finding zero this v out will be zero right like zero like uh, zero volt okay we are talking about the voltage output so we can use uh, like three four uh, different uh, ways to find the zero okay but i am doing here two condition okay so if this impedance goes to zero okay if this impedance let's say z goes to zero then this output can go to the go to zero right so this is our first ways okay so if this impedance if this impedance goes to okay so if okay so if this impedance goes to zero then only our output can go to zero right so this is our impedance so what will be the what will be our impedance so this is our node right so we can see that this is r and this is r so this value cannot be zero right like these two are in parallel right like this will be r parallel and this is a series path right so this will be r plus on over sc right so this path cannot be zero because this is a finite value but at some frequency this impedance can go to zero right so this is actually contributing our zero okay so this is our like this impedance is contributing our zero so let's say so this is this cannot be zero right so this impedance can go to zero so this is our impedance at this branch so r plus on over sc it will be zero at some frequency so s will be nothing but minus of on by rc so this is our zero location so this is the uh, like one way okay to find the zero and uh, so this will be also negative right we know that this is a negative pole uh, negative like uh, left of plane pole okay so the system is stable so both are uh, like left of plane quantities okay both pole and zero now number two will be the way will be so we need the v out will be zero so if we ground this and this is also ground so this impedance is out of the picture right because this is dead element so i am telling this okay 
so this is ground and this is ground so this is out of the picture okay so only we have this combination of r and c so this will be our pole location like this will be our effective capacitance like this will be our effective resistance and this will be a, a effective capacity so this these two are contributing our uh, uh, like zero value right so in this way in this way we also tell that the zero will be on over rc now we have to plot the body plot okay like the frequency response so for frequency response we know we need dc gain and pulse and zero right so this is our h of s mod of s of s right so this is our v out over v in of s and this is mod and this is our omega frequency and this this will be in log x scale and this will be in dbs scale okay so now we uh, we we need to find the dc gain what will be the dc gain so at dc at dc capacitor will be open circuit right capacitor is open circuit so if we do that so the picture will be looking like this right so this is open right so this is out of the picture so this v out will be like this so this is a and this is small signal ground and this is v in so this is nothing but a normal cs stage okay so the gain will be nothing but like mod of av will be nothing but gm times r okay so this will be our dc gain so this will be our gm times r and this will be in db okay db like 20 log of gm times r okay this value okay and we have pole and zero now we have to see the pole location is at lower frequency or at higher frequency so we have zero at omega z is nothing but on by rc and omega p is nothing but on by 2 rc so which value is like uh, near the near the origin so this value is less like right so the pole will occurs first so let's say this is our pole okay so at pole the body magnitude plot so, so this is the body magnitude plot so the body magnitude plot uh, like decrease minus 20 db per decay okay okay so this is our minus 20 db per decay 20 db per decay so this is our pole value so this is our omega p now at zero frequency we can see that so what will be the picture at zero frequency so at zero frequency our what will be our like uh, what will be our final stage right so let's see okay so let like let at infin infinity frequency okay at frequency at infinity so f is infinity so what will be our reduced picture so this will be nothing but capacitor is short circuit right so this will be the picture so what will be our gain we know that right like i am telling the when the zero will occur like it will be like uh, 0 db or or higher than 0 db or lower than 0 db okay like the uh, uh, like uh, the uh, gain at infinite frequency okay so this will be nothing but r by 2 right so our gain will be nothing but gain it registered to gm times r by 2 so the gain is less and this is this is uh, greater than 0 db right this is greater than 0 db okay this is greater, greater than 0 db so the output will be looking like this okay like this will not reach to 0 db so and let's say the pole is located here okay so this is our like this is our zero right so this is our omega z so actually i am finding this uh, like uh, like i am finding the uh, gain at a higher frequency and the picture will be looking like this and i have seen that the gain is not uh, 0 db or less than 0 db it is greater than 0 db so the picture will be looking like this okay and this will be our body magnitude plot and what will be our body what will be our body phase plot okay so this is our omega and this is our phase in degree right so this is phi of h of s so this is in degree so this is our pole and this is our zero okay so now we know that at uh, at uh, pole frequency the phase is a minus 45 degree right so let's say this will be the thing what let's say minus 45 degree okay and uh, at 10 times of this pole frequency it reaches to minus 90 so let's say this is this is minus 90 okay now now we have a zero at some frequency so we know that for zero the phase plot increases by 40 degree right 
so this will be nothing but again again to 40 degree again okay like we have minus 90 degree and if we add 45 degree so this will be nothing but minus 45 degree right and then eventually at at infinite frequency it will reaches to zero okay so this will be our bode bode phase plot and this will be our bode magnitude plot okay so this is how we can uh, uh, like draw the bode plot intuitively okay not writing some equations and in laplace domain or in time domain so this is how we can approach to this type of problem okay so thank you everyone you can uh, put your value feedbacks thank you